guys, it is me, Sari Zara Emoji, and I'm here for another installment of Bad Fan Fiction Reading <laughs> for um, the story called Hogwarts School of Prayer and Miracles. And today's chapter is chapter 9, A Letter at Dinner. Okay, so. <laughs> Alright, and so we're gonna go, I'm gonna go ahead and get right into it. Author's note. Hello, friends. I apologize for how long it took to get this chapter out. But I have good news. Starting tonight, I will be taking a beginner, a beginning writer's course at a local at the local community college. <clears throat> well, I hope they give this chick one advice: is to stop writing completely, because apparently this is not her. This is not her cup of tea. <coughs> okay. Oh my god, through all the hate from evolutionists, feminists, and Romanists. What? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm face popping. <laughs> no, stop it. There has been some legitimate criticism of my writing skills. My mother did her best and she certainly did teach me a lot, but grammar was not was not her area of, ep of expertise. Wow, so it's pretty much been confirmed that... Grace Ann never actually went to school. She was homeschooled. Uh, ha, ha. now it's starting to piece together. I see what's going on. I see it. I see it. I see it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's taken some convincing the hubby wasn't sure I'd have time to get everything done. If I started taking this class, but I've written up a schedule and I think we can make it work. Of course, you could try, but whatever. Whatever can never. Why did I say can never? That is. <coughs> okay. One week into the school year, Harry was slowly, gradually starting to get used to the everyday routines of Hogwarts School of Prayer and Miracles. There was breakfast in the Great Hall every morning, and then there was a prayer session led by the Reverend. The Slytherins went off to have their own prayer sessions in their own way, and the Hufflepuffs and Ravenclaws prayed with the Gryffindors. But the Hufflepuffs complained about the Reverend quoting the Bible, and the Ravenclaws complained that the Reverend didn't seem to really hate sinners. He just hated sin. After the prayer session, the little ones all went to their classes... There were regular math and English course classes. I just want to say courses now. Of course, although they were on a higher caliber than the than one would find at a public school, then there were Bible studies and Christian history. This chick is outright school shaming. She's probably shaming public school and that. Like she's flat out school shaming. And. I <laughs> I didn't think it would be a thing until this until this story became a thing. Oh lord. <laughs> After that there was lunch in the Great Hall. After lunch there were more classes about American history and constitutional law and missionary training. Oh, so this so this story basically confirmed that this school is is in America. Probably in the south. I, I don't know. Maybe. I don't. I don't think it's in New Mexico. So probably. So if it's saying, you know, some of the teachers have a southern twang or something, I feel like it's either has to be in Texas, Louisiana, Alabama, Mississippi, or maybe Georgia. I don't know. Maybe Georgia. Um, but I feel like it's going to be either be Alabama or Texas. I don't know. This chick ain't even explaining exactly where the school is. Like, if it's in Texas or some other chiz. Like, where in Texas? Like, like, like Austin or like, or maybe like Johnson City or San Antonio. Well, not really San Antonio since that's where, you know, all more like, it gets more like Hispanic-y there and that. Or, I don't know, Corpus Christi or something. I don't know, maybe up north in Texas or maybe in Oklahoma. I forgot about Oklahoma. That maybe you might also have this sort of chiz going on, but maybe it's up in like Fort Worth or Dallas and Arlington, or uh, maybe some smaller towns up in the area, like you know, 
Waxahachie or Cedar Hill, Venus. What else am I forgetting? Midlothian? Midlothian? Um, Mansfield? I don't know. It's just all over the place. <laughs> I don't know. The story ain't explaining exactly where the school is. <laughs> but pretty much this has been confirmed. This is probably in America. Probably in the South of America. And not South America. I mean, like, the southern part of North America, excluding Mexico. Um, yeah. Like, of the United States, if you get what I mean. Okay. After these classes was dinner in the Great Hall, after which the students had free time. Okay. <laughs> so, I guess they're about to have a Cracker Barrel-style dinner again, like they did that one time. And <laughs> apparently, I'm still, I still can't get over that, where it's like, you know, I guess you could call out to God if you want some food, like, God, get me some pizza! <laughs> Or no. <laughs> give me some pizza or something. God, give me some cookies. Or I don't know. <laughs> oh my gosh. Or God, give me Chinese food. Or God, give me some KFC. Well, KFC honestly isn't. Uh, it's not that great. It really isn't. Right above. God, give me some water burger. <laughs> God, get me some water burger. <laughs> or <laughs> no. Or God, give me some Texas Roadhouse. <laughs> Take some Texas Roadhouse. <laughs> or water burger. Oh my god. No, why did I mention it? No, I want water burger. Even though it's like <laughs> Oh god, I can't can't even get it. It was just dinner. It was such a dinner that Harry was eating now. Um, he was sitting with his new friends. So, of course, so I'm guessing this is just a Cracker, a cracker Barrel style dinner. Let's be honest here. I feel like this might be a style of Cracker Barrel because... Because the last time she said she... I mean, excuse me. I, I, I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. I'm sorry. I just... I can't... Ugh. This story is frustrating and just tr is killing my brain cells that I can't even comprehend. I can't even say things anymore. I can't even say the simplest words, nor am I even trying to make any sense. Like, this is painful. Agonizingly painful. Um, Hermione, Ronald, and Dean Thomas. Okay, so I guess they they're only putting Dean in the story just so, just so she won't get- so that she won't get people mad about- about, being, about there being no diversity, so that they need some black people. <laughs> this food certainly is delicious, Harry observed gratefully, and he was savoring a bite of perfectly roasted chicken. Oh, I bet that chicken tastes like air, though. If it if it's made by if it's made by Southerners, you, you probably half the time the chicken probably gonna be dry. It's gonna be dry as f. Um. But you don't want chicken that's super mega greasy. Oh god. Let me tell you a horror tale about KFC. I remember a couple, I think the, like the, um, I can't remember when it was. Maybe it was during a, maybe it was during a Texas football game or something where we got home, where we brought home some KFC or something. And we had the chicken strips. I had the chicken strips. It was greasy. It was disgusting. It, I, oh, like, oh, seriously, I can't. I can't with the greasiness. Oh, it's just nuts too much. <laughs> However, I didn't think maybe I should have just, you know, grabbed a paper towel and just squeezed the grease because apparently, because I remember I once did that squeezing out the grease from the pizza so that there it wouldn't be so much grease on pizza. But my gosh. It really is. Dean Thomas concurred until intelligibly. He was dressed quite respectably today. And he was wearing a button-up shirt and clean blue jeans. And his hair was neatly combed. Oh dear. Are they really about to make Dean Thomas a white person? If they're trying to make him white, pl I, I don't think I can handle I can ha I don't think I can handle this mental agony anymore. It's just this is it, it's killing me. It's kill it's killing me. It's making me suffer slowly. 
Oh, help me. <laughs> Hermione nodded in agreement and, and the yellow bow she had tied her hair back with bounced up and down. Oh my god. Oh, I think... Uh, well... Well, if you aren't gonna make... Oh, of course. She ain't gonna have boobs. He, she ain't gonna have boobs at 11 years old. Well, barely. But, I mean... <laughs> if that's not your... If that's not a good option, then you can, I guess you can go for having a bow in your hair. Yikes. Okay. Ronald grinned widely, but remained the silent as he shoved another handful of deep-fried Brussels sprouts into his little mouth. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> Excuse me, guys. I think I got a. I. I, I I think I got a hurl. from America, but fried Brussels sprouts. Disgusting! <laughs> like, there are some, there are some, like, deep fried things that even I'm easily baffled by. <sighs> I swear. There are just ones up there that are just massively baffling. <sighs> And Brussels sprouts. Okay. Yes. Yes, she got the part where Ron loves to eat, but she apparently... <laughs> I think he'd be better off eating chicken than the actual Brussels sprout. I mean, I don't know what to think of it. <laughs> <coughs> okay. <sighs> oh my gosh. Ron Ronald ate breakfast and lunch with his family, but he was but he was eating more and more dinners with these Gryffindor hats of his. Gryffindor friends, excuse me, not hats. I'm sorry, <laughs> I freaking botched. Okay, it never ceases to amaze him just how nice they were to him, even though he wore a different hat. A little unconditional friendship can really go a long way in a person's heart. Yes. Okay, then. <laughs> Although, I've already looked at the comments. And... <laughs> and, oh, God. <laughs> They're all mad that he's... <laughs> that he's even eating fried Brussels sprouts. And I'm reading one of the comments that says, Hogwarts School of Prayer and Miracles, or Miracles and Prayer, or whatever it is. Let's make them eat healthy food. Ha ha, JK, we're clogging their arteries. <laughs> Yay, we're clogging our students' arteries. Yay! <laughs> it was then that a bunch of beautiful people with wings and wearing glowing white robes swooped into the Great Hall's huge windows. Yellow halos hovered above their heads, and they wore brown leather satchels around their shoulders. They gracefully reached to their satchels and gloriously flung envelopes above, down to the students below. Is this angel stuff that's going on here? They just freaking replaced owls. They just replaced owls. No! Stop it! Stop it! 
No, no. Oh God. The male's here. Dean, uh, Dean, <laughs> Dean. I almost said Dean Ambrose. It's Dean Thomas. <laughs> oh. This story is trying to mess with my brain. Yikes. Uh, Dean Thomas observed accurately. No chance, Sherlock! <laughs> and he shielded his eyes with his hand as he gazed up in wonder. Harry propped his chin up on his hands and dreamily watched those magnificent postmen distribute their, their wares. He did look so love at... He did so love to look at angels. I had to reread that because I wasn't sure if it was making any sense or not. <laughs> okay. He was surprised when a letter fluttered down to him and it landed lightly on the table in front of him. He had never gotten a letter before. He smiled innocently as the angel who had delivered it and the angel waved back. Would you look at that, Dean Am- Dean Thomas Sutter fluently. You got a letter, Harry. <laughs> oh god, I almost keep saying Dean Ambrose. And I'm about to get this massive confusion. Just call him Dean so I get to save me this agonizing confusion that I'm getting right now. Would you look at- Okay, I already read that. With excited hands, Harry broke the seal and opened up the parchment that was inside of the envelope. He la he laid it out on the table and saw the familiar slanty slanting tidy handwriting. Dear dear Harry, how are you enjoying your first week at Hogwarts? I hope you are enjoying it a lot. How about you you come over for tea this uh, this evening after dinner and you could tell me all about it, Hagrid. <coughs> oh, that's nice. He's inviting him out to tea. Okay, Harry smiled as he folded the envelope and put it back into the envelope. Oh, if is he folded the letter, I put it back on the envelope. Good old Hagrid. What does it say, Harry? Hermione questioned shyly as she as she played with one of her smooth, lovely curls. Stop it! Hermione does not play with her curls. My gosh, this is so wrong. <laughs> Yo, I'm screaming. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Hagrid wants me to join over jo to come over for tea. Harry reported excitedly. Would you like to join me? I'd love to. Hermione replied sweetly. That sounds like fun. Dean Thomas re re responded out eloquently. This story is messing with my brain all too much. <laughs> Should I come? Ronald asked tentatively as he sh as he swallowed his Brussels sprouts. Give the boys a chicken. <laughs> Harry, Ro Harry, Hermione, and Dean Thomas exchanged a knowing look, and then Harry answered kindly, "Of course you can." Ronald smiled gratefully before going back to his to his br to his Brussels sprouts. Just give the boy some chicken! Uh, seriously, give the child some chicken. When dinner finished, Harry got to his feet, and then he declared boldly, Let's go! Author's note. Blessings. Oh, God! <laughs> well, you, you you heard me had a pretty, pretty intense gag, gag fest. Um, you know, after the hole with Ron eating Brussels sprouts. And next chapter that I'll be reading is chapter set. Chapter 10, Dangerous Days Are Here. Okay, so, hope you guys enjoyed that, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.